Hi guys, my name is Justin Halliday. I design games as Hero Forge Games, and uh, recently I've been working on a prototype of a game I've been designing, which is a card game called The Road to Room. Uh, and when I was working on the game, I decided that I'd go onto the game craft and make a prototype of the game. And uh, when I was looking around for some videos on YouTube of which sort of boxes to use, I couldn't find a good one that showed off the game craft as small pro box. Um, so, what I decided to do is, A, first uh, mock up my own prototype of the Pro Box using their templates, which is this, which is basically just 300, actually I think it's 200 GSM card that I'm using here. And then, uh, so that I could use this to work out what it would look like when I ordered it on GameCrafter. So this one here is my mock up of their templates. And as you can see, this game is a, a card and dice game. So this version here has basically two sets of cards in it, 100 and, well, actually 90 or so cards in this one, and a couple of dice. Now, the version that I'm using here has big 16 millimeter dice like this, uh, but on the Game Crafter, it won't let me put 16 millimeter dice in the, in the version that I've ordered from them, that I'm gonna show here. Uh, so I've actually got 12 mil dice in here. And it also wouldn't let me put a small uh, rule book in, in this version. So I think I did anyway, and we'll see how it goes. I can't remember everything that I ordered in there, but we'll see how it goes. It'll probably turn out horrid and, uh, you know, fingers crossed. So this version here is my mock-up that I built. And this version here that I'm gonna open is the version that I got from the Game Crafter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this one and I'll just uh, show you guys a close up of this while I open it. Okay, so these are the two versions of the game. This is my version, my prototype version that I mocked up. As you can see, it's got the dice, the cards, the rule book in it. Um, this is the real version from the Game Crafter, which we're gonna have a look at now. So, try to do this in the camera without stabbing myself. Harder than it looks. My camera um, luckily has an incredibly shallow depth of field, so just gonna put this across here. Alright. I imagine, by the way, that this is a standard size US Postal Service box, but I'm not sure. I imagine that's how they design their games. Now, so it's a little bit of padding around the actual box inside here. Just some paper. Super boring. All right. And this is what we got from the Game Crafter. Now, again, wrapped in paper. Ah. Oh wow! Looks like a real thing. So here we have my oops upside down crummy prototype. Let's try that the proper way. My prototype, the Game Crafter version. Uh, Game Crafter prototype. Uh, these are made from exactly the same source file, so you can see here that the printing is way better on the Game Crafter one. This one here, which is just a an office kind of photocopier um, printer, is a bit um, blurry and a bit of well, not such, not as uh, accurate colours. So this is white here, but here it's kind of got this red kind of bleed around the side. That's pretty cool. It comes all packaged up. So it's shrink wrapped, which is sweet, and it feels really sturdy. There's nothing, you can actually feel the uh, height there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bulge here through the middle. So God knows what they've done with those dice. That's a bit of a worry. Um, it's slightly wide there. All right, let's open it and see that. It's also a really, it's um, not one of those thin uh, shrink wraps, this one, that you can kind of tear off. It's very rigid. Brittle once you get off. Okay, so again, uh, this is the GameCraft uh, uh, small pro box, they call it. So I'm just going to move that aside. All right. So that's why there's a bulge in it, because they insist on putting the dice on top of the cards. Um, in real life, that probably wouldn't be the case. Okay, so here's the rules. 
small rule pack. What I'll do is I'll just take the lid off this one so you can see um, what's in each of them and kind of compare. Uh, so you get one pack of cards here, another pack of cards here, two tiny dice. So these are the these are the 12 mil dice. Um, as I say, they wouldn't they won't pack it with the 16 mil dice. An actual little tiny itsy bitsy rule book, which is very bijou uh, and quite cute. So it's got like one, literally one staple in it, just in case you were worried about uh, too many staples. Um, it's quite readable. I'd probably, the next size rule book is the double sided one. I'd probably go with that, um, you know, in the, in the future. So when this arrived, what did we have? We had the cards in here and the dice on top. And that's why the lid didn't close properly because the, the, um, the dice were on top and the rule book was all the way down the bottom. Now, you know, smart thing to do would be to slip the dice on the side, but they don't really fit very well there either. They don't fit great. So clearly you can't fit the 16 mil dice in this box along with two sets of cards because of the way the cards are packed. Um, 12 mil fit okay. Uh, slight bulge in the deck in the box but it might be I mean they've basically just taken half the cards they've halved the cards you know this there may well be a way of um of organizing it so that the cards are better packed but on the game craft you can't actually do that um you basically you know this is like four or five different decks of cards what they call decks of cards because every time you want a different back or a different front you're into a different deck so I'll show you, I'll take these ones out. So these are kind of wound cards. Um, and they have these unique backs and fronts on them, as do these, the marker cards and the and the um, the kind of backing text ones, which is the same as on the back of the box. Um, the rest of these, these are mock-ups, so they don't have as much, uh, they don't have art on them. But the interesting here thing here to look at might be the actual colour reproduction. So I'm gonna grab one of these out, which is one of the, this is a barricade card, so I'm just going to keep all this stuff over here. I'm just going to find the barricade in here. And so we can compare the, uh, the color reproduction. This is my prototype again. This is printed just at a, um, at a commercial kind of print shop. Uh, on their normal printers from a PDF. So this is the difference we get in the color registration between them. You can see here there's way more green in the Game Crafter one, whereas here it's lost a lot of that. Um, that's kind of interesting. These ones here, we might try to pull one of those out as well. I'll see if I can find, oh yeah, okay. So this is another example card. Ooh, shitty. Uh, I think this is a slightly later revision of the same card because the artwork you can see here is slightly different, but this is not as marked a difference, the red compared to those greens. Anyway, that I think is pretty interesting. So I'll just take these out and have a look at the box. Um, the box has a gray core and it's actually, in this case here, it's just a sticker that goes around and wraps around the box. Um, it's got cut lines down here on the sides. So that's a sticker around a grey core box and this is also a sticker around the grey core box. So it's going to be slightly hard to see but it's got logos on all sides. This one here I just went with simple black. A um, bit of information about the game, 1 to 4 players, 13 plus, 30 minutes and logo, logo for the game. So that's it. That is a small pro box from the Game Crafter. It fits barely two, uh, two decks of cards. In this case, I think I have, I said 90 earlier. I think there are actually 100, uh, 102 cards in here. 
So there's oops, a bit of air in there. So what they packed for me kind of barely fits in here. In fact, I think that if um, you know if we got some cards out of here and put them in the other one, it, those dice would Elijah would just stick the dice in the side, I think, anyway. So let's do that. So one set of cards here. Uh, this is a... Second set of cards here. Two dice, which do kind of, at a stretch, fit in the end. Rule book on the top. On the top, and then lid on. So that's a pretty snug fit there with the two dice down there. As you can see, my version here because it doesn't have the the um, what do they call it the grey card stuff uh, inside. There's a lot more room in this box for all the pieces, whereas this one here, the actual Game Crafter one, is a tight fit. But as I say, I think that um, it would definitely fit a larger rule book in there, which I think would be worthwhile. And then just stick with the smaller side ca size dice. Probably try not to add any more core, any more uh, cards to the game. Anyway, that is a quick unboxing and tour of the small pro box from the Game Crafter. This is the real thing. This is the mock-up. Okay guys, that was a quick tour of the small pro box and uh, my, well, quick introduction to my game The Road to Rule. Anyway, the prototype of it as it stands. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy. I think you meant to like it down here. Press down there. Like there. Thanks. Bye.